Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to graph a body plot by hand. And we're looking at this function right here. In order to graph the magnitude of this, first we have to find the DC level. In order to find the DC level, we're going to graph 3.6 times 10 to the 7 and divide it by 15, 200, and 3000. Once you plug this into your calculator, you're going to get a value of 4. But that's not the DC level yet. There's one more step, and you have to do 20 log of base 10 of 4. And that's going to give you a value of approximately 12. Now what this value tells you is where you're going to start the graph of your magnitude. But we're not going to go and do that yet. There's one more step. And what you're going to do is turn this function into log form. Whatever you see in S, there you're going to have a log. Uh, so for this part right here, you're going to have 20 log of j omega. And since this is dividing, you're going to start subtracting these values now. Minus 20 log of j omega over 15 plus 1, minus 20, log of j omega over 200, plus 1, minus 20, log j omega over 3000, plus 1. Now what this is going to allow you to do is to keep track of the slope. For example, this part, since it comes from the top, is telling you that you're going to have a slope of 20 dBs per decade going up. So for the first line, you know you're gonna start at 12. You're gonna have a slope of 20 dBs per decade going up. And you go until you reach the next lowest value, which is 15 in this case. So here you just find, I already have mine set up. I have zero, 20, 40. I'm gonna find the 12. And the 15 is right here. And you're going to find a slope of 20 dBs per decade going up. So you can just pick an easier value, not the 12. Just from 1 to 1 to here. It's 20 dBs per decade. Just go square up. You're going to go until you reach the 15. Okay. Now, once you reach the 15, you have a slope of negative 20 dBs per decade. First, you had a slope of 20 dBs per decade. Now, you have a slope of negative 20 dBs per decade. So, those two are going to cancel out. And you're going to have a slope of 0 until you reach the next lowest value, which is 200. 200 is right here. So once you reach 200, right here, this is telling you that you again have a slope of negative 20 dBs per decade until you reach 3000. There's a slope of negative 20 dBs and 3000 right here. So, so far we have a slope of 20 dBs per decade. We have zero. And here we have negative 20 dBs. 
for a decade. Um, so now once you reach 3000, you again have another slope of negative 20 dBs per decade. You already have a slope of negative 20 dBs plus another negative 20 dBs will give you a negative 40 dBs per decade. So again, you want to calculate 40, negative 40 dBs per decade. And this goes on forever. That's negative 40. So that's your magnitude. Now, in order to graph the phase, you're going to look at all the values where you have a denominator and you're going to divide those by 10 and multiply times 10. So for the 15, you have 1.5, 15, 150. For the 200, it's 20, 200, 2000. And for the 3000, it is 300, 3000, and 30,000. Now we're going to do the phase by components. So we're going to head and draw this line from 1.5 to 150 at 45 degrees per decade. And I'm going to start the graph at 180 degrees and I will explain later why I'm doing this. So find 1.5. And then 150. And there's 90 degrees in between. So you're going to have 45 per decade. For the next one, you're going to go from 20 to 2000. Now we're going to do the last line, which is from 300 to 30,000. Now what we're going to do with these components is we're going to add them up and we're going to come out with the full phase graph. Now the reason why I started at 180 degrees to draw these components is because if you look at your function, this S right here is telling you that you're going to start graphing your face at 90 degrees. If you if your S was at the bottom, you will start your graph at negative 90 degrees. And if you didn't have an S or if you had an S right here and at the top and they will cancel out that means you start your graph at zero. So for the first part, you have nothing right there, so you have a slope of zero. And you're going to have a slope of zero until this line starts. At this point, you're going to have a uh, slope of negative 45 degrees per decade until you reach this point right here where the two lines start being on top of each other. So just calculate and slope again. But you only want to go this far. Now at this point you're going to have this line and this line. This is negative 45 degrees per decade plus another negative 45 degrees per decade, which is going to give you a negative 90 degrees per decade until you reach this point. This is where the line ends, so that's as far as you want to go.
Are you gonna wanna go this far? Now, once this line ends, for this small section right here, you only have this piece of line, which has a slope of negative 45 degrees per decade. So for this portion, you only want that slope. Now, again, you're here now. So you have a slope of negative 45 and another slope of negative 45. So it's going to give you a negative 90 degrees per decade until you reach this point where the line ends. Went too far. Okay. So now we have the last section, which has a negative 45 degrees per decade. And again, you're gonna just draw it right here. I'm gonna just estimate the last slope. So that's it.